guys, it's Rock and Robin. Welcome. You are on Rock and Robin's Garage Sale Finds, the YouTube channel that helps resellers make more money. Well, first thing I want to tell you today is I want to thank you all because I just reached 3,000 subscribers and I am very, very happy about that. So thank you all for subscribing. Please tell your friends about us. Maybe they'll want to subscribe too. Well, today's episode is about bolos. I love talking about be on the lookout items because they give me inspiration and they're fun to look for. And if you happen to find one of these, you'll be excited. If you found a bolo item or you found something you think people should be on the lookout, please leave a comment. Now, if this is your first time here, we sell on eBay and we've been selling eBay for like 20 years, 20 plus. We sell on Mercari, loving Mercari. We sell on Poshmark. See, I didn't forget Poshmark this time. We sell on Facebook Marketplace and we sell at the flea market. Now you stay with us. I'm going to give you 10 items that went for a lot of money. And these are all in the sold item on eBay. You stay with us. Okay, well, we're back. We're back to talk about 10 bolos. Well, the first one I'm going to give you is a vintage scratch the cat burglar teenage mutant ninja turtles new and rare from 1993 sold for six thousand dollars see this is why i love toys you continually never know what you're gonna find and if you find something new in package even from 1993 it might be worth six thousand dollars i love that now number two is an extremely rare vintage 1963 haunted house game from ideal and now it's an excellent condition this one but it sold for 900 dollars. i have sold a lot of board games in my time at ebay in the last 20 years and i've never sold a board game for 900 dollars. i think 150 was the most i ever sold them for so keep your eyes on this one and maybe you won't find it in mint condition but it's still going to be worth a lot. $900 is fantastic for a board game. <sighs> I've never seen it, but I am really keeping my eyes out for that one because I love toys. Okay, number three is a vintage 1995 Snoop Dogg. Okay, this is a, a t-shirt. It's Murder Was The Case t-shirt. It sold for $2,000. Ay, 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 ay. All the graphic t-shirts I find. I, I'm going to look now for Snoop Dogg. This is only 1995 and it's worth $2,000. I'm going to keep looking for t-shirts, you know? I find some cool and original things, but man, I've never seen anything like that. And I think you should keep your lookout for all of these. You should get a pen if you haven't and start writing these down. Keep a notebook in your back pocket so when you go garage selling, you can say, hmm, I think I saw that on Rock and Robin's Garage Sale. Fine, look it up and see what it sold for. Maybe you can make a ton of money. Now we are going to go to number four. Number four is Raiders of the Lost Ark. It's a first print VHS. It was sealed and it's from Paramount and it sold for, and I never looked for VHS, but now I'm going to start. It sold for $12,600 for a VHS, for a VHS tape. I had a ton of VHS tapes when my mother passed away several years ago and I just dumped them. I didn't even look to see if they were sealed in the package. I don't know what she had. Oh, very, very frustrating. Okay, number five is an official Daisy Splat Ball. Now this is an automatic toy gun and it's new, it's brand new. I don't know how old it is because I couldn't find a year on it. $14,500 for a gun, an automatic toy gun. This one's gray and orange, if that matters. I think that is outrageous. That's a lot of money for a toy gun. Uh, $14,500, I don't know if a real gun is worth that much. Okay, there's, I'm sure there's some collectible real guns that are worth that much, but it's outrageous. So even items that are new, they look brand new. This look brand new. I don't know if there was a million of them at one time, if they're hard to find. I mean, they're obviously hard to find or they'll be paying $14,000 for it. Keep your eyes open for all the toys, even toy guns, new and packed. So I want to ask you a question before I show you number six. Do you dry your hair? Do you use a blow dryer? How long have you been blow drying your hair? Have you saved them? Well, a Turbo Power Twin Turbo 3900. 
uh, hair dryer ceramic recently sold for $17,500. I, I never thought to collect ceramic hair dryers or any kind of hair dryers. You know, people collect everything. Don't throw away anything. Keep them all in a box. Keep them for your children. Maybe you won't be able to sell them in your lifetime. Maybe your kids will make $17,000. You never know. Some things go for millions. When I was young, my mother made me collect all my baseball cards, thinking I would send me to uh, college. Well, it didn't quite happen that way. But you know, you never know what people are going to collect. If it says collector on it, it's probably not that good. But if it doesn't say that, it could be anything. For all I know, next will be toothbrushes. You just never know. Number seven, you know I collect Disney. You know I know a lot and do a lot of Disney stuff. Well, I buy watches, but I haven't found one like this. It's an Invicta Disney watch. You see this watch? It is beautiful. And it's sold for $10,500. It has Mickey Mouse. Uh, it's got a silver dial. Very nice. So keep your eyes out for watches, and if you find one that's Invicta and it's Mickey Mouse, pick it up. I'm not saying it's gonna be worth $10,500, but you never know. <laughs> okay, number eight. Now, number eight is something, you know, it's hard unless you've lived through this and been involved, and I haven't. It's a Vietnam era US Marine Corps combat coat. Now, I'm always looking at coats and Marine and army items, but I don't know the value. So I very seldom buy them. And when I do buy them, they're usually worth 20 bucks. But this one was $14,800. Wow. I mean, if, if this is your thing, clothes, and you like military items, you might want to keep the lookout. Maybe you even have some you don't know about. I would love to see that this was a Vietnam veteran who was in the war and did all that, you know, <laughs> work and and survived that he's selling and making some money so if you know a vietnam veteran see what they have see if they could sell maybe it will help them live a little better because you know they had a tough life and i give them all the credit in the world that was tough so keep your eyes out for that anyway and then we'll go to number nine number nine is an oil can a valvoline motor oil for motorcycle oil can it's just an oil can. I see oil cans all the time. I don't know the difference, but collectors do. Well, this one sold for $18,200. I like that. I would love to get $18,000 for something, an oil can. I see oil cans all around. Now I'm going to go around and I might start picking up oil cans. I just don't want to leave them in my house. I'm going to have to put them in a garage because who wants an oil can? And then all of a sudden everything smells like oil in your house. But if you have them, if you have this one, you should put it up on eBay because you're going to make some money. If not, make sure you write it down to your list because maybe it will make you some money. And I always save the last, the very 10th one is the one that is the highest amount of money. And this time it is a rare original Apple computer from 1976. This one is fully operational and signed by Waz. So you're hardly ever going to see one of these. But if you might see, you know, an original Apple and you know it's worth something, this one sold for $340,000. That could buy me a house. But, you know, the uh, other ones that maybe they're not signed or maybe they're not working are still worth a lot of money. So keep a picture of this, write it down. You're looking for rare Apple computers, Apple One this was. Uh, People collect computers, they collect cell phones, they collect everything. And I think in the future, electronics are going to be the number one collectible. Not just the number one thing you buy because you want a new cell phone, but a collectible. I have the original Mini, the original Apple Mini. I'm holding on to that because maybe in 10 years I can sell it for $25,000 or if I'm lucky, $340,000. Well, I don't know what you're going to do. If you like the things that we show you and we try to come up with a bolo once a month, please subscribe, hit the bell, and give us a thumbs up. We would really appreciate that because we want to bring you more all the time, more exciting bolos, more exciting items. We're going to go thrifting this week. You're going to come with us. We're going to do all kinds of things. I also want to show you, oh, so many things. I can't even go into it. So what I want you to do right now is I want you to go shopping. I want you to look for a bolo. Look for a bolo. Look for whatever's going to make you money. Put it up and you go. Make yourself some moolah. See you soon.